This video about my wardrobe essentials and capsule wardrobe is coming to you by popular demand. It's sponsored by Organic Basics. Organic Basics is a Copenhagen-based brand making underwear, everyday basics and activewear with more sustainable methods. Sustainability is the core focus of everything at Organic Basics, which is pretty commendable. I got so many questions after posting my closet tour a while back. Where do I get my clothes? What brands do I wear? Why have I got so many t-shirts? So I thought I'd share an update with my wardrobe essentials, my basic favorites, my capsule wardrobe during the fall and winter season. These are the necessities, if you will, my core and hardest working pieces. If I lost my luggage or indeed my entire wardrobe, these are the items I'd want to replace immediately. I've always been a basics lover, never one for frills. I like the simple and timeless, classics with a twist but not super trendy, and stuff that I can wear for years. These are all pieces I can at least in some sense dress up or down and everything complements everything else. I feel I can look somewhat put together without having to stress out about what to wear. Over the years I've realized that it's worth to invest in good basics. I say pay as much as you can afford when you find a good one. When they're the building blocks of your wardrobe, and if you, like me, have a minimalist closet, your pieces tend to get worn a lot, so paying a bit more is totally worth it in the long run. I always go for comfort, but I also want it to be somewhat current and in style. So here are my essential pieces. Bottoms. I have three bottoms on rotation, basically. Actually, that's a lie. I wear the denim jeans 80% of the time, and the other two the rest. My denims are by Kos. The style is the skinny, but I'd say it's more of a straight style, and I cut them off and left a raw edge. Since I wear these so much, I hang them outside for at least a few hours to air them out between wears. This also goes for woolly sweaters and other garments that really shouldn't be washed very frequently. My black pants are by Karin Vester. They're the dressier pant, or as dressy as I go, I'd say. They're a viscose mix and feel a bit woolly, which is nice when it's colder. Also, the waist is elasticated. Comfort is key, guys. Speaking of elastic, these are my Spanx leggings. I think they're called faux leather or liquid leggings. When you put these puppies on, you think you're gonna die because they're so tight, but once they're on, they're actually pretty comfortable. Tops. I love me a good crew neck or a good roll or mock roll neck in cashmere or wool, preferably with a raglan sleeve. These are Bacos and Cornvester. I don't do v-necks as I never feel they flatter me. Also I love a good tunic that covers the bum when I wear leggings. I also have the warm woolly cardigan that's technically a v-neck, but I think as a cardigan it works. The cardigan is by Vera. Shirts. I'm not a fan of ironing, so I tend to skip shirts in winter unless I feel like I need to be extra put together, like for a job interview. I do have this white Oxford shirt that served me so well since I got it as a sample at a previous job with a clothing brand over 20 years ago. It's a testament that good quality and classic designs pay off. It does look really nice with denim too. But then there's the ironing again. T-shirts. The type of clothing that gets worn out the most in my closet is t-shirts. Out of the 365 days of the year, I say I wear them 350. No kidding. The only time I don't is on the rare occasion that we get a couple of weeks of very hot weather in summer, when I opt for a tank top instead. I either wear them alone in spring or summer, or layered as undergarments in fall and winter. Finding a good tea is like finding a ripe avocado here in Sweden. It's a rare thing. I like my t-shirts to be crew neck in white, grey and black. Black ones are the trickiest. They tend not to stay black for long, so if I find a good one, I stock up with a few, so together they will last me longer. If you did watch the closet tour which I made a year ago and saw my set of grey tees, they're all gone now. The problem when you get a set at the same time is that they all tend to break apart at the same time too. 
So for a while I've been on a quest to find new favorites. I've tried a few different ones, but they haven't really lasted me. So when Organic Basics reached out and offered to send me some of their styles to try and to sponsor this video, I jumped at the opportunity. Not only are they a Scandinavian sustainable brand in all aspects like fabric, production, packaging and supply chain, they also use innovative technology which I think is pretty cool. This is the certified organic cotton tee and I got it in black and white. It's so incredibly soft and as all organic basic pieces they don't have any sewn in tags which I really appreciate. The product information and care instructions are printed so nothing scratches you. This one is part of the Silver Tech Everyday collection. I also got this in black and white. It's made of organic cotton and treated with a recycled silver salt called polygene, which makes the clothes stay fresh longer. Not only do you not get smelly and need to switch t-shirts after a single day of wear, you also save on laundry. I wasn't really sure what to expect, but I've worn this white tee for three days in a row and initially after taking it off in the evening I could briefly smell myself if you know what I mean, but shortly after the scent was magically gone and I felt confident to wear it again the next day. Pretty amazing. This is a tea that's completely made out of recycled nylon and again treated with a polygene. I was intrigued by the material and kind of hoping that I'd be able to get away with wearing it to work, but this really is the active tea that you wear for sports and workouts. It has the mesh detail and look of active wear, so this one I'm excited to keep with my workout gear instead of with my day clothes. There's a whole collection of active wear in this cool silver tech with polygene material, which you might want to check out if you're looking to update your workout clothes. When I browsed the Organic Basics webshop, I noticed a gap in the women's section. Why are there no grey t-shirts? Apparently they're coming, which makes me so happy. Meanwhile, I'm trying their men's style instead. My regular size in the women's tee is medium, but the men's and small works for me too. It's on the slightly bigger side on me, but I appreciate the length of it for under sweaters. Love me a tee peekaboo between my bottoms and my tops. Out of all the styles, my favorite is the Silver Tech Everyday. The tea stays in shape after washing, the quality feels like it will last me a long time, so I'm excited. Dresses I admit, I don't love dressing up. I've never been a girly girl and often find myself preferring men's fashion, or at least masculine styles more. On occasion I do wear a dress though, but I only have a single one. It's again by Car Investor and I got it on sale at 50% off. I have yet to wear it in the wild, but I'm happy that if I do need a dress, I can just reach for this one. I feel it can work all year long. Opaque tights in winter with a cardigan over and bare-legged in summer. Coats. This car coat from Arkit has served me so well since I bought it a couple of years ago. I've worn it basically every day in fall, winter and early spring. It's waterproof and has a lining, so it keeps me warm enough, and then I layer underneath. If it gets colder, I also have a puffer coat from Land's End that I've had for at least a decade. I haven't gotten any use of it this winter season though. Shoes As for shoes, my currently most worn ones are these Skechers sneakers. I also love these Marimekko shoes, but unfortunately they're coming apart. The velcro isn't sticking any longer and the backs are fraying, so I'll need to find a replacement pair. For dressier occasions, I have these vintage men's shoes that I found in a charity shop last summer. They're from the 50s probably. I've had them resold at a cobbler that cost me more than the shoes themselves, but the quality is amazing and the leather is so soft. Accessories. I personally pretty much don't accessorize at all, but you could totally dress all this up with cool earrings, scarves, etc. to elevate these basics to the next level. As for shopping new clothes, I keep a running list on my phone of things I need in my closet and don't deviate from it. Currently on my list are nicer Birkenstocks, white sneakers, a denim shirt, a chambray tunic, a light colored car coat and a bathing suit. When I get these I'm all set for spring and summer. Not included in this video are my comfy clothes, the stuff I wear on weekends around the house and my active wear. Let me know in a comment if you want to see these in a separate video. Thanks so much to Organic Basics for sponsoring this video. Find their link in the description to get your own sustainable wardrobe essentials. You'll also find a 10% discount code in the video description box below.
If you buy anything with it, I get a percentage of the sales, so thank you so much for supporting a brand that supports my channel. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, it really helps my channel. Please also consider subscribing. I'll continue to share all things Scandinavian from my apartment here in Stockholm and beyond. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.